people this morning around 2,000 IPL customers are still without power after those gusty winds on Sunday that would just not quit. Some of those gusts hitting nearly 60 miles per hour. They were strong enough to flip this semi on I-69 in Delaware County. The sheriff's office sharing this picture with us of the truck on its side. We're told the driver had to be treated for a leg injury in the crash. The wind's also taking down a lot of trees across central Indiana on Sunday. Yeah, like this one. This is on the northeast side. Dean Road is lined with these huge trees. So when one falls, it's pretty scary for the residents. Luckily, no one was injured here when this one fell across the road yesterday, but some residents say the age of the trees is concerning and they're already worried about the next storm. They're beautiful during the early fall. They're very colorful, but there's a lot of spinely trees that are ready to come down. There's rotten trees. There's huge trees that are leaning over Dean Road. Neighbors say they want the city to take some preventative steps before more trees start coming down. And today, many Hoosiers are dealing with wind damage to their homes and their yards. But as homeowners try to get the mess cleaned up as quickly as possible, a question always comes up. What's your responsibility and what isn't? Our Paris Lubel is live this morning working for you with what you need to know before you start spending any money. Paris, good morning. Lauren and Meredith, good morning. Many people trying to pick up the pieces this morning, and that question does always come up. What is your responsibility and what isn't? Let's start with the power lines that and the cable lines that come into your home from those poles out here in the street or in the alley. And there are many people still without cable and power in Indianapolis and many more throughout the state. Now, the power companies and cable companies are responsible for that line that comes to your home from the pole. But everything else that's permanently attached to your home belongs to the homeowner, and it's your responsibility to get that fixed. So if you had a a tree fall on your roof and damage the little weather head that's at the top of your house that connects to the pole that wire runs through that is your responsibility the other question that comes up often is about trees what happens if a tree like this falls onto your yard maybe onto your home well if this falls into the yard there that would be your responsibility even if it didn't start in your yard or even if this piece of property isn't part of your property but if it falls here into the alley here in Indianapolis and any other city throughout this uh, throughout the state that becomes the responsibility of of DPW or the local DOT for them to fix it up. We have many more tips right now about what your responsibility is and what yours isn't right now at the RTV6 app. For now, we're live downtown. Paris LaBelle, RTV6. Good to know, Paris. Thank you so much. It is 6.05. If you drive through Broad Ripple during your commute, you'll want